Okay. It doesn't look very exciting from low power, right? I mean, a little something up here, but otherwise, kind of normal skin. Yeah, and a little bit closer, it looked like there was some EOs and nukes surrounding the vessel, but not really um, like an LCD, just the nukes and EOs were um, in the vessel, so just right there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see on this scan. It's a little blurry, but there's a couple EOs around this vessel. Probably might be a, a neutrophil somewhere in here. Some lymphs, pretty sparse, very mild sparse infiltrates. And what about the dermis here? Is there a little extra pale space in between the collagen bundles, you think? Yeah. You can always hallucinate it if you want to. I think this is legit. Like, I think this is really edema here. There's extra fluid pushing the collagen apart. But sometimes we see that as an artifact. So it's a edema is a little bit in the eye of the beholder, especially down in the reticular dermis. In the papillary dermis, it's a little easier usually to see and tell that edema is real. Like here, the 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 pale, like fine collagen, that usually goes with real edema. But down here in the reticular dermis, you know, you can if you want there to be edema, you can say there's edema, and if you don't, you can say no, there's no edema. All right. So then, what did you uh, what do you think this is probably classified as? Yeah, urticaria, that would be great. Scattered, usually it's sparse infiltrate, the edema and sparse inflammation, and it's usually a mixture of neutrophils, EOS, um, and uh, lymphocytes, and, and sometimes scattered mast cells, and they can be like around the vessel. Neutrophils in the vessel lumen, like kind of cl collecting in the vessel lumen is a really nice clue. You don't always see it though. Um, there's some thought that there are different kind of categories of urticaria microscopically, some of which are more lymphocyte predominant and some have the neutrophils. I find the neutrophil ones to be easier. The other things I think of when I see this is could this be a dermal hypersensitivity reaction that's really mild? Could this be a bug bite or a drug eruption? Um, and also viral exanthem. Those are kind of things that can give you like the really sparse, mild superficial perivascular dermatitis. But the scattered EOs and newts, I think, are a good clue to push it towards urticaria. The other thing I found in practice is that at least when it's being submitted by a dermatologist, if the biopsy, if, if you guys as a dermatologist didn't put urticaria on your differential, then I got to think twice before calling something urticaria because urticaria has a kind of distinct clinical appearance, right? It really makes the wheel, the wheel and flare puffy, no epidermal change. And you guys, I think, as dermatologists are really good at picking up on that and saying, oh, I think it looks urticarial. And so if you don't think it looks urticarial, then, then you know, I've got to really think, am I sure it's urticaria? So that's one, that's kind of a clue that I use that, that usually urticaria will be on your differential if that's really what it is. Oh, and one other point, urticarial vasculitis can be really subtle and can look essentially identical to urticaria in some cases. Sometimes it has actual LCV, but what I've seen, the cases of, of what we thought were urticarial vasculitis that I've seen in practice, I felt like tend to be really on the, the light end of the LCV spectrum. Sometimes there's some hemorrhage and a little dust, but not like full-blown good LCV uh, and vasculitis. So even though it's called urticarial vasculitis, sometimes it can really look like urticaria. And I know there's sometimes a, when derms are biopsying and want to decide if something's urticaria or urticarial vasculitis, please tell me how long have the individual lesions been present? Because that's one of the real criteria that I think of is that you should have fixed lesions. It should look like urticaria, but the individual lesions are fixed for more than 24 hours in true urticarial vasculitis. So um, so occasionally I'll have people send me biopsy to, and put those both in the differential, but not tell me how long the individual lesions are there. So, so I can't really um, definitively usually tell you if I don't know that. All right.